Okay, first bike which I'm test riding is the CBR 650F. It's a non-LAMS bike. Uh, this one's a 2016. Uh, it has about 6,500 kilometres on the clock and it's on the market for $6,990. You see, it has on the far side. Apparently, the guy was a painter and he spotted paint on it, so you'd want to get that cleaned up. But other than that, as I say, six and a half thousand kilometres. Um, it's basically a brand new bike. Uh, looks in really good condition, as I say, other than that paint paint splatter on it. I'll take it for a bit of a spin. Um, give it a couple of revs first. Uh, it has ABS and as I say it is uh, um, the non-lands version. <laughs> Basically it's as stock at the moment. No uh, aftermarket exhausts or anything. Very smooth on the gears. You don't even feel the gears change on it, it's just so smooth in the gear. Which for a bike with only six and a half thousand kilometres on it, you would expect that. Quite a lent forward sporty position. I'm not sure about the screen on it, and I'm not sure about the look of the front of the bike. I do think I prefer the 1000, which I will be test riding in a little while. So it is a very comfortable bike though. Long distance might be a little bit less comfortable with the lean. I think this is actually quieter than the uh, 500cc that I have at home. levers on it that might be aftermarket I think because they're just very short levers. And so that screen to me just does not look right. I don't know what you guys think but uh, yeah, jump on the freeway now. Very smooth.
bit of break in the traffic so we'll, uh, give her a bit of a rev up Open up the gap in front of me maybe back into first gear it needs a good crunch down I'm sort of a little bit gentle on it I think ah oh, bugger this cannot take a trick As I say, it's um, quite comfortable to ride. I don't think I'd want to ride it for a thousand kilometres in a day. Mind you, once you're used to it, I suppose it wouldn't be so bad, but, but uh, I'm not used to this sort of bike. Hopefully soon when I get one, I will do a lot more kilometres on this style bike and um, become more used to it. I just cannot get over that screen on the front. I don't know if that's a stock screen or whether that's an aftermarket thing, but it looks absolutely shocking. It certainly rides very nicely. So, I do quite like this one. Mind you, I tend to like all bikes as the wife says. Once again, with this bike, I don't think you'd want to be six foot six. Uh, around the six one, probably even down to about a five eight, five nine, it would be most comfortable. Actually, I 
seat change of plan I'll go up there to the roundabout I was going to do a U-turn but there's a roundabout right here For anyone that's looking for something just to ride around on, not looking for a massive amount of power, this would be a nice bike. But as I say, I'm looking for sort of uh, the 1000cc, I think, um, in a sports bike, a super bike. It certainly hasn't overwhelmed me. So not that I've really gone flat out with her, but you just feel it doesn't have that sort of grunt that you want from a superbike. So it is only a 650, so that is understandable. It's only 150cc, more than the 500 that I've got. But it's quite surprising that 150cc doesn't make a lot of difference. To say they are a very nice bike, but um, but yeah, just not not what I was expecting anyway. So. so if you're not looking for something that's just got that oomph to it, yeah, it'd be perfect. So that is the CBR650F, uh, non-restricted version. Um, and now I've given her a bit of a test run. And once again I'd like to say thank you very much for joining me and have a wonderful day and stay upright.